today O Levels Biology, we're going to briefly and quickly look at the questions that have been posed on the board. And these questions mostly deal with genetics. Genetics. And genetics is one of uh, a favorable area as far as O Level Biology is concerned. So we're going to quickly go through these two questions. Question 1A says define the following 1. Genotype 2. Homozygous 3. Phenotype 4. Heterozygous 5. Co-dominance and B says in a certain garden of beans plants the pot color is either red or green When a pure breeding bean plant with red pots was crossed with another pure breeding bean plant with green pots, all offsprings produce red pots. When the offsprings were allowed to self pollinate, the following results were obtained 580 bean plants had red pots while 206 had green pots. Explain the genetics of these crosses using appropriate symbols and diagrams. And all of that gives us 10 marks, while A, 10 marks. 1A. Genotype. So 1A sub 1. Genotype. Genotype simply means the genetic constitution or makeup of an organism for a particular character, for a particular characteristic or trait. The genetic constitution or makeup. So one A genotype simply means the Genetic constitution, genetic constitution or makeup of an organism for a particular. Trait or for a particular trait or characteristic, e.g., capital T, capital T, for instance, or capital T, small t, whatever. So the genetic constitution or makeup of an organism for a particular trait or characteristic. Sub two, homozygous. Homozygous simply means a pair of similar allele or gene. A pair of similar. A pair of similar when you use the word similar you say identical so a pair of similar or identical alleles or gene well, similar allele or gene, e.g., similar or the same, small t, small t, or capital T, capital T, or B, B, whatever. They must be similar of the same 
letters and the same either lowercase or uppercase. Three. Phenotype. Phenotype refers to the physical or the outward appearance of an organism, the physical or outward appearance of an organism. So we say the outward or physical of an organism of an organism or you can also say the observable observable appearance of an organism observable e.g. height height is what you can see either the person is tall or short height comma another example length Another example, color. These are all observable or our appearance. You can see color red or whatever. Four, heterozygous. Heterozygous refer to a pair of dissimilar. A pair of dissimilar or different so a pair of this similar or different alleles alleles or gene alleles or gene alleles or gene e.g. Capital T, small t, capital B, small b. So dissimilar, they are not the same. Dissimilar. Five, codominant. When neither of the gene, codominant simply means when neither of the gene when neither of the contrasting allele neither of the contrasting contrasting allele neither of the contrasting allele is dominant over the other is dominant over but both alleles are equally expressed in the genotype but both alleles are equally expressed in the genotype both alleles are equal to the genotype. Giving rise, giving rise to a different phenotype. Giving rise to a different phenotype. For example, red cross white gives you pink. Pink. Pink is neither red nor white. Just like example here that we have black fowls. Yes, our white fowls cross black fowls, giving us blue. So blue is neither white nor red. So this is this for 1A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1A. We go to 1B. As a reminder, every new question should follow a new page. Begin a new question on a new page. 
every new question on a new page. So 1B, 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 from what we have here, red cross white, or rather red cross green rather, red cross green, we had red, so red is dominant over green, that's the established fact. So we define our alleles, the definition of the alleles is very important because if you missed the definition of the alleles, then the rest of the equations will follow wrongly. So we say, we'll say, let allele for being planned with red pots equals to capital R bracket dominant because the red is dominant over the green so the, the allele for red pot is equals to R then let allele for being planned with green pot equals small r and we write in bracket recessive write in bracket recessive good so once our genes have been defined, we have done, gone a long way to completing the equation. Then, say parental, parental phenotype, we have red bean spot cross green bean pot so parental genotype we have here capital R capital R and here small r small r all cross then gamete gamete Through meiosis, they are separated. Through meiosis, they are separated. Separated. They are separated. Then our F1 genotype. When this and this combine, we have capital R, small r. This and this again combining, we have capital R, small r. This and this combining capital R, small r. This and this combining capital R, small r. So, our phenotype. Phenotype, SF1 phenotype, we have all red. All red. Then we're told that when the F1 plants were allowed to self-pollinate, when the offspring that is the F1 flower were allowed to self-pollinate, so this is part two, B part two. F1 plants allowed to self-pollinate, so we have parental. As one parental phenotype, we have
red bean pot cross red bean pot parental genotype we have clarus molar cross clarus molar gametes Separate capillar, separate molar, separate capillar, separate amniosis, molar. F2 genotype. This combining we have capillar, capillar. This combining we have capillar, molar. This Combining we have capillar smaller. Combining we have cap smaller smaller. So phenotype uh, F two phenotype we have. This and this is one red. This and this. Oh, so so all of this will give us three red. One. Green, giving us the ratio of three. Ratio of three is two one. A ratio can also be calculated from the figures that have been given. We're told that two hundred and six green or oh, something was missing. In our question. Had red, yes. So on that red, red, green, five eighty, red, two zero six, green. So we divide by the smallest number. So two, two zero six, two zero six. This will give us approximately three is to here one we have come back to our ratio s3 is to one so that is that for question one